With no further ado, if we would, I'd like to turn the floor over to an amazing gentleman, Scott Kundal. If you'd please take it away, sir. Oh, thank you so much, Brock. It's great to be here, everybody. For those of you who know me, uh, this is not a slow, gentle, relaxed ride for the next uh, 10 minutes. I just gun it. And uh, yeah, I make no apologies about that. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let you have it. So thanks again, Brock. Um, yeah, um, love your work, love to be here. I know we've got um, a lot of people from around the world, including the UK. Um, I haven't said hello to Laura yet. I haven't said hello to Vinay yet and Alistair. Hey guys. Um, and, uh, and a lady by the name of Go Paperless. Hi Go, nice to meet you. Uh, and Desiree as well. Um, so yes, everybody. So what I'm going to do today is a little bit different because I'm going to show you a practical example. Um, and yeah, so what I'm going to chat to you today is very much around uh, the human element and how the world has been changing so rapidly that we're actually going back to where we started. This amazing thing called one-on-one -on -one connections. And I specialize, uh, somebody got their mic on, uh, sorry, there we are. Um, so I specialize in a very unique form of LinkedIn. And people say to me, so you're one of those LinkedIn expert specialists. I'm actually not because 90% of LinkedIn doesn't work. And I've become a lot less diplomatic and a lot less politically correct than I used to be about social media because I've been in digital marketing for 20 years. And I can tell you right now, guys, that uh, very, very seldom did I hear a small business success story coming out of, of social media, um, whether it's Facebook advertising or whatever. Really, really intelligent, well-meaning, great people put a lot of money in, into it and got no, no real reply, uh, no real response, no real ROI. Um, is there a place for social media? Of course there is, but it's got to be done correctly. But what I'm talking to show you today is I'm going to show you literally how I got a client on LinkedIn using the methodology. So you can see what I did and you can see the conversation. And um, it all happened on LinkedIn, but there's a very, there's a couple of very interesting little secrets. And the first one is before you, well, before you even look at LinkedIn, realize that 90% of LinkedIn doesn't work. Um, I've got 25,000 connections in one of my LinkedIn profiles and 12,000 in another one. If I do a post on it and I get 100, 200 views, I'm like, wow, it's just, you really have to work so hard on LinkedIn. You've got to keep posting, you've got to keep going. And I'm like, bugger that. If you want to get results and you want to get them quickly, you've got to use LinkedIn's best friend and pretty much the only thing that LinkedIn is good for, this amazing thing called direct messenger. LinkedIn direct messenger is incredible because once you do your invitations and get your acceptance messages, that's when things start to get interesting. Now, I'm going to frame this conversation with something that's happened in the, in the last couple of months. Have you guys noticed that Facebook and social media has been under massive amounts of fire? A lot of people are dropping off and leaving Telegram. A lot of people are very, very angry with social media about censorship. And a lot of people don't even know this, but Facebook was hacked and 500 million cell phone numbers out of WhatsApp were um, are being sold on Telegram. So there's a lot of a lot of anger with social media with social media. Now, I'm not judging. You might agree with censorship. You might not agree. That's not what this is about. What we need to realize is one of our favorite fishing spots for new business is starting to be is starting to erode before our eyes. It's not, it was difficult to get it to work before and it's very, very difficult to get it to work now. A lot of people are leaving these social media platforms, especially uh, business owners um, and especially kind of more affluent, affluent people who are watching the news. So it's gonna get harder and harder, but LinkedIn is incredible. Right, sharing screen. As I said to you guys, we've got 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna go, go, go. So a lot of people don't know this, but Telegram was actually, um, uh, it was actually selling a whole bunch of uh, Facebook, phone numbers including yours and mine if you've been on, on on whatsapp for the last year then your number will have been hacked and, and basically available so there's some very interesting things that are happening um, around that but the point that i'm trying to make is how do you do it how do you go out and get business all right this is how i did it and i'm going to show you the process this is a live customer okay this is a gentleman in the uk by the name of Stu reynolds he's a flipping cool guy i must be honest he uh, is a co-founder of a company called Shoplocks. They do e-commerce and they do some really cool stuff. Not really relevant right now, but they do an e-commerce platform. So how do we, right? How did I get to Stuart and what are we doing for Stuart to help him understand the process? Now, before you get onto LinkedIn and start doing a single invitation message, come up with one line. You've got 12 to 15 seconds to get them to click. All right, that's all, 12 to 15 seconds. So you come up with one line. It's called a captivating one-liner. This is how I got Stuart. Um, I introduced 
myself to him on Sales Navigator, but you don't need to be on Sales Navigator to get this to work. This is all I said to him, and there's some very cool secrets in this process. Hi, Stuart. I've just written a controversial article titled UK Software Companies. You're really smart and technically brilliant. Your product is innovative and invaluable. So why are you struggling to sell it? I'd love to share it on LinkedIn email if that's okay. There's a few things in here I want you to show you. I could speak on this for days, but I just want to give you the basics. First of all, all I'm doing is I'm not selling. I'm just sharing an article that I've written. And that article is controversial or uplifting or use a word to describe it, right? Then one line I used to hook him. And that is the headline. It's called a captivating one-liner. It's like a glorified headline, but it does so much more than just say a headline. And I also ask him for permission on email so that I can email him and potentially as well. So that helps with some of the whole GDPR regulations. Everything I'm doing now is soft. It's not about spam. And when you see the process, you'll see why. Now, this is my invitation message. If you guys don't know what an invitation message is on LinkedIn or what an acceptance message is, probably go on another call another time. You might want to just put your feet up because the next seven minutes are not going to be relevant. Okay. But I think you do. So in LinkedIn invitation goes out. That's all I said to him. Hey, Stu, I've just written this article. Here's the headline. You'll also notice the headline always talks to the industry that you're speaking to. This is absolutely key. I'm giving you some of the greatest secrets in the world. So few people actually do this. This is what I did. UK software companies, right? Now, what did Stu do? He replied, uh, sorry, he didn't reply. He accepted my LinkedIn message. So I then replied to him. Now, don't worry about the fact that I'm moving between sales, man sales navigator inbox and free version inbox. Effectively, it's the same process. So, hi, Stuart. As promised, you can read my article. Here's the headline again. Here's a link. Does the chicken and egg analogy resonate? And here's what it looks like in. Always when you post and you send an article, you always make sure it looks amazing. It's got to look amazing. So this is what we did. This is the article I wrote. I pre-wrote this article and I had it designed and I'll show you some examples of what that looks like just now. But here's another little secret. And I'm giving you a few secrets. Hope you are writing this down. This little link over here is a tracking link, which means if anyone sees straight up, this is live. This is a guy just giving me a little thumbs up because I've, he's just responded to the same thing. I did not make this up, guys. It's not a recording. It's just come through. Um, so what ends up happening is because it's so captivating, people go, okay, this looks interesting. This is a tracking link. If Stuart clicks on it, I know that he's clicked on it because we use a little a tracking link to, 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 um, to pull those articles through. So Stu then responds, he goes, great website, fast, enjoyable read, um, though, Scott, thanks. Interesting um, use of grammar, but it doesn't matter. So he responded, and you often get this, like this other person just responded a few seconds ago, a thumbs up, a thanks for the article. All I did was I replied and I said, thank you, Stuart. I appreciate it when people acknowledge the hard work that went into it. Do you see what's happening, guys? We are not here to sell. He knows who I am. He can see my LinkedIn profile. He knows what I do. It's all about taking it into conversation mode. Now, a lot of networking events, I'm going to stop here for a second. A lot of networking events will tell you, no, like, trust. They get to know you. Then they get to like you. They get to trust you. Doesn't work in this way. Throw that out the window for this methodology. You have to start with trust. I've got lots of clients that I don't like. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is that it's don't have to like someone or know them in order to do business, but you have to trust. If there's no trust, business will never get done. All right. So I know I'm gunning it here, guys. I hope it's not too fast uh, because I think you guys enjoy uh, it. This, this is important. Feel free to take a good five minutes over, mate. Don't worry. Don't worry. Can I do that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah awesome. Go for it. Awesome, guys. Okay, good. And you guys can ask questions, et cetera. Um, but I love this. I love showing you going through the, through the, the process that I did. So what you're looking for is you're looking for a captivating one-liner that drops into a message. This captivating one-liner doesn't talk about your product. It talks about ding, 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 their pain. It's all about their pain. All right. So he responds as great website. And I, I responded, I respond back to him. Stu then responds again. I don't tend to click or read, let alone respond to much marketing activity. So your techniques really resonated with me. Beautiful. You love hearing that. Why? Because the technique that I'm using is not salesy. It's not a hard sell. 
All it is, is I'm reaching out there with something that shows him that I understand his pain and it's specific for his industry. Such is the amazing power of the captivating one-liner. I head up sales and marketing for a tech startup, shopblocks.com. We're an e-commerce platform. Pretty much all sales activity to date has been via direct sales, small team of telemarketers and a few closers. We're just getting to the point where more subtle inbound lead generation is a target. I say, agreed, Stuart. Everything we do is gentle. It's about enhancing personal credibility. These are all trigger phrases, slowly but surely. Can I call you to quickly have a 15 minute chat? I like shop blocks. You're in a great situation right now. Drop the developer lol. Right, I'm gonna pause here for a second. When you're talking to someone on LinkedIn and you have that direct message going and there's a bit of a conversation started, it's really important not to copy and paste. Look at their LinkedIn profile, check out their company. So I said, I like shop blocks. You guys are in a great situation right now. Why? Because e-commerce during COVID has just gone ballistic. Almost as much as Bitcoin. Oh, okay, never mind. We don't talk about that. And this little line, drop the developer, lol, is a quote from his website to show him that I've checked out his website. So take a genuine interest. I call it prospect empathy. Feel what the pro prospect is going through. Have the empathy to understand their pain. He got back. I'm on compassionate leave. And he talks about this. And it went back and, back and forth a little bit put me in touch with Hannah. Um, and then he had a question. Now, another little trick, a question on LinkedIn, can and should, once you've got a conversation going, be answered using a LinkedIn voice message. Don't use LinkedIn voice messages too early, but it's amazing because what it does is it takes the conversation from being purely text-based. Now they can hear your voice talking with credibility and authority about the specific subject. So you start moving it because what you want to do is you want to graduate the conversation out of LinkedIn, preferably onto email, preferably onto a call and taking it from there. Um, and then again, it's basically um, same, same, kind of, uh, um, same kind of chats. He asked a question, I gave him a response, a uh, little bit of a compliment there because this guy really was on the ball. Um, the guys are like really, really good company. And then it was just a bit of a chat. We had the meeting anyway. He's now a client. We did the deal. It took a while, it took about three months, uh, maybe, maybe two and a half months to, to sign the deal with him. But this is the process. And we always follow the same process. Now I want to ask you guys something before I show you what we're doing with him to finish off. Would you rather spend hours of your day going onto LinkedIn and posting and sending and writing content and posting and getting three likes and half a share and people going, what a great article. All great, you can still do that. Or would you rather spend your time with a handful of really, really good high quality people that you're in a conversation with that you know you want to do business with? That's the difference. This is the key to the whole process. So just to finish off now, and then I'll take some questions and then I'll, I'll do it and I'll still be on time, Brock, don't worry. Just to sort of show you. Now, what we did with Stu is we did the same kind of thing for him. But I want to show you what the creative looks like. What happens when you actually click on some of these articles? And this is key. So this is what we did for Stuart now, what we did for him. This is what the captivating one-liner turns into. Him and his partner, Kevin, did two different articles. This is the headline. Technical SEO on Shopify is your ball and chain, your prison, your torture chamber. Once again, we've written this beautiful article for him, right? Made him look amazing because when you connect with someone on LinkedIn, you must carry your personal brand through. That's how you build this incredible trust with somebody on LinkedIn. Because when they click, when Stuart clicked to read my article, when, so, when we reach out onto Stuart's LinkedIn profile and we connect with, SE, with technical SEO people, when they get his invitation and acceptance message and they click, there's continuity and they go, wow, the Stuart guy really understands what's going on. He's professional, professional. That's the first step is that trust. So instead of no like trust, start with the trust. And this is how you build that trust and then credibility. This is what we did for his partner. We tested these two lines. This one, SEO Lord's Prayer. Dear God, please don't ask me to do SEO on Shopify. This is clever. We did it specifically. We did an hour and a half workshop with them to say, what is the pain of these SEO guys? They don't want to be sold another piece of software. 
tell us what the issue is. What is their issue? The issue is SEO. And we came up with these really cool captivating one-liners and we compared the two together. Um, this one is slightly higher. It's currently running at about an 18 or 19% click-through rate. 18 or 19% click-through rate. Slightly higher than this one. It is so far beyond your normal click-through rates, which are usually half a percent or 1%, that the mind boggles. You can't actually believe how well this works because of the fact that you've taken a captivating one-liner, you've written it, you've made it look professional, you've made yourself look so professional. And, and here's just another example to give you another idea of the look. Look how good you look. You are your brand. You will never take a business and bang it into, your, into the cloud and use with gravity against you, you will never take a brand and get your name out there unless you spend a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of money if you focus on your company brand and your logo. If you focus on your personal brand on LinkedIn, it's a complete game changer. Look how good this looks. By kineticist, your client's DNA unlocks the keys to high performance. Are they genetically destined for greatness? This one line or the captivating one liner is the be all and end all of the whole process. If you get this right, you will experience incredible results and you can get to that 15 to 20% click through rate. So guys, that is my rant. As I said, I don't do things slowly. I'd love to hear some of your questions and just to frame it, do you see how the difference between using a hard sell approach versus just a subtle one liner blending into a beautifully designed creative where you and your personal brand are the star. Yeah. Done. Brock, thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thank you, Scott. Excellent, excellent presentation. I've, uh, I've seen some of his stuff before. So, so I'm not probably, well, I'm still blown away, but I'm imagine a lot of you in shock right now. Cause you, you didn't, you didn't know how well this would work.